just right, just as good. <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Rose. Welcome back to the Veggie Rose channel. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday and Thursday now. <laughs> I feel like it, it's switched up in the past year a few times, but always two videos a week and yeah. So in today's video, we're going to be making a chicken Alfredo inspired dish. And this is actually inspired by like those Nor side packets of food, those little microwavable envelope paper things. So that's what we're going to be making today because I just kind of wanted to have some and I couldn't buy the one at the store. So I was like, let's recreate it. And I did and it came out good. So let's get veggie. So let's get started. This recipe is actually super fast, really easy to make. This is one of those recipes that during the week, you're coming home from work and you're like, what the heck do I make? I wanna make something fast, but I still want it to taste delicious. I got you. This is the recipe for you. So we're adding in two tablespoons of vegan butter. Yes, vegan butter. Cause I know whenever I say just butter, people are like, what? Aren't you vegan? And isn't dairy, you know, blah, blah, blah. Guys, calm down. Calm down. Not everybody, but you know, some there's always got to be somebody. There's always a vegan police out there, and we're just no, no thanks. So, all right. And actually, next we're gonna be adding in our uh, flour. So we're making a roux, and you want to mix in the flour with the butter once the butter has melted down. And we're just gonna mix this up. I'm using a whisk because if you use anything else, you run the chance of your roux thickening up and kind of like clumping instead of becoming like creamy um, and you don't want that that's not real so I'm just mixing this up a little bit here kind of making sure it's not clumping up and again our heat or I say again but I don't know if I said this already our heat is on medium high heat we're gonna let this cook for about three minutes or so I have the full recipe link down below with the full instructions and all the measurements and all that good stuff for you so it's been about two to three minutes and our flour has cooked enough where I'm pretty sure the taste of the flour isn't there anymore because that's the reason why you're actually waiting for, for it to cook a little bit instead of just like tossing the water straight in because you don't want like that raw flour taste in your food. Next I'm adding in slowly my water. You can also use vegetable stock but I'm actually going to be using a vegetable base, the better than bouillon vegetable base. Um, which I think it just gives it a lot more flavor than just like a, a broth would because you can add more, add less. You want to add in your liquid, whether it's water or vegetable broth or vegetable stock, slowly because again, you don't want it to clump up and this is the kind of thing that will clump up so easy, you guys. So now that this is nice and creamy, and we've added up enough water that you could actually add it in a little faster here without worrying about it clumping up on you because it's already kind of just like incorporated really well. So whenever you're, you're working with a roux, you just have to be really careful and keep an eye on it. And I'm adding in the vegetable base right now. This is the Better Than Bouillon vegetable base. This stuff is awesome. It smells so good. I like to add it to a lot of things. I put this in my rice to give it kind of like, it, it just, it tastes a lot like, <laughs> from what I remember, because I haven't had it in a long time, but it tastes a lot like, kind of like those chicken bouillon little cubes or the chicken bouillon paste. Um, it has that same feel to it, so that's why I really like it. Again, stir, stir, stir. Don't forget to stir your stuff. And then we're gonna be adding in our spices and herbs. We have some Italian seasoning, some parsley, some garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt, just a dash of salt because that uh, bouillon paste is pretty like high on sodium on its own. And then also pepper. Pepper, you can do the taste. Salt too, of course. Any of this, you can do to taste. You can also, at this point, add in some nutritional yeast if you want or if you have some on hand. I've kind of cut back on using nutritional yeast a lot because I know a lot of you guys pretty much cut back a lot on using too many specialty vegan items because I know a lot of you guys are watching from like different parts of the world and you can't get certain things in different places. So I try to keep it pretty 
like basic with my ingredients. That way you guys can find it like in any supermarket. So our mixture is at a high heat and I'm just letting this thicken up a little bit. And it's going to take maybe like four minutes or so and we'll be right back. So our sauce is done and we have some already cooked fettuccine uh, pasta that we're going to toss in there. At this point, this is optional, but I like to add a little bit of olive oil just to give it a little extra flavor. And I know some of you guys that are like oil free or very low on oil are probably thinking you put a bunch of butter and now you're doing oil. But for these creamy sauces, you kind of you kind of have to indulge. All right. And then it's ready to plate. Add in a little bit of dry parsley over top, or you could do fresh parsley, whatever floats your boat. But this is the middle of the week. Sometimes you run out, right? You don't have it, so some dry parsley works just right. And that's it. All right, guys, so you know what time it is. It's time for the taste test cam. This is a little tiny bite. How unusual of me, right? But we're going in. Mmm. That stuff right there is so good it's so creamy and i love me some creamy pasta the creamier the better sauces boss and all that good stuff so i hope you guys try this out and enjoy it just as much as i enjoy it and my kids enjoy it because they love this stuff also don't forget to tag me on instagram using the hashtag veggie fam if you make this recipe or any of my other recipes i would love to see what you made and i would love to know what you think about it that's it, you guys. I love you so much, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.